Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on panic attacks and anxiety. I thought I would do this because I have been suffering with panic attacks since 2012 and so I wanted to talk to you guys about it and actually I think this might help me and some other people would too. So my panic attacks, as I said, started in 2012. I do have some notes as well, so don't, if you wonder why. Um, kind of like, my first panic attack was in the cinema, so I didn't know what it was, I just felt, I thought I was just ill. So I went into the um, cinema and I watched the film, and then after a while I began to feel very sick. I thought I ate too much popcorn. So that's probably, I thought, oh, I've eaten too much popcorn, it's too sweet, that's probably why I'm feeling sick. But I was like, I have to get out of here, because I felt I was going to be sick. So I said to my parents, I need to get out of here, and they took me out, and I kind of, there was like this lounger area. By the way, before I go further, um, a trigger warning, so if this triggers you, please do not watch. Any further, there will be links down to some playlists down below. They won't be up straight away when this video is uploaded. But there will be links down below to the video, to other videos and playlists for you guys to watch if you do not want to watch this video. So anyway, moving on. Um, so I went outside um, and I sat in the lounge area of the cinema and I just kind of, eventually I fell asleep, which I think was out of boredness more than I was panicking because usually when I panic I cannot sleep and most people will say, if I go, they're like, oh, you need to sleep it off. I'm like going, my body is panicking. It means it wants to run. So I don't think sleeping does any help during the panic attack. Usually after, yes, I will go to sleep. But uh, during it, no. And I don't know why people say that to me. I'm like going, my body's panicking. It wants to run. That's what a panic attack is. You're scared. Why do you need to sleep? So I never got that. My, I've had that quite a bit where it's like, oh, Oh, you need to sleep. I'm like going, no, I just need someone to talk to. And I don't think that sleeping will help during the panic attack. Maybe after, because my body would be exhausted then, but not now. Uh, that was very interesting. I've had kind of that a few times. But then, event, you know, um, moving on, I kind of, with I what really kick-started the panic attacks was being afraid of being sick. I was sick kind of in 2000, beginning 2012 in February. February is actually one of the baddest months for me, so I probably won't be feel that good during the month. I will be afraid, more panicky than usual. So that's kind of like, unless I have a good month and then nothing happens, and fine. But usually that month I'm terrified of because it just reminds me of that time and I'm like going, it's gonna happen again, it's gonna happen again. And that's why I like, um, so I do not like it. I will not, I, re I even refuse to go to the places that I went to during that time period. So even if I, even if I'd been there and nothing happened, I wasn't sick there, won't go. Will not go, because I don't want the memories. Memories for me are bad things. Um, they kind of like, they are linked with what happened. So if I had a really good day the, before the, um, the bad day I had in February, will not go there again or eat what I had before because that reminds me like so I of that day and I think that's going to cause it so that's going to cause me to get it again although it probably won't because I probably called it from someone at school so yeah and obviously I keep going to school so I'm not going to avoid going to school so obviously um I just kind of avoid I avoid doing things that remind me of it so yeah that's kind of one of the things that happens as well. So usually I avoid eating what I had the day before, uh, the bad day. Avoid doing the things I did before the bad day. I call it bad day because I don't really want to go into it. So I call it the bad day, the, the day I was sick. Then I will not go into it. Um, not go into it. I will not want to remember it or actually go to the places that remind me of it, literally. Um, so over the year, more panic attacks happened. There were a series of them, small ones, big ones, and really it just felt like blind panic. I literally felt like I needed to run. Sometimes if I couldn't get out or the door, obviously maybe the doors were locked, then I would have to go and find somewhere that was cool. Maybe the heating wasn't on in that room. I would go and sit in that room until I felt better because the coolness helped with the panic attacks while the heat was what triggered it. So if I was in a really warm room, 
that would trigger the panic attack. So sickness and heat and overthinking. Overthinking is another one where if I overthink something, my body panics because it's thinking, oh, okay, you did something wrong there. You can't, you shouldn't have done that. And my brain's telling me that and I'm like making it really bad. So then I will ask someone else and I tell them the story of what happened. They go, Kira, that's not that bad. Why are you worrying about it? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm just worrying what happens if this happens or something else happens. And then like going, that's not that bad. You don't need to worry about that. And sometimes if they get crossed with me, um, that's actually good because then I actually know that they're serious about it and just they, they're saying it's fine. You don't need to worry about it. And that's what makes me feel better. Sorry for my hair. It's very fluffy. Um, so I'm like, okay, okay. Overthink I'm just over I'm just overthinking it. As long as I know I am overthinking it, that's fine. Um, yeah, so if I know I'm overthinking things, I will stop panicking about it. Um I do there so moving on, I'm gonna think and talk about um a panic attack I had in 2014. I think it was 2014. I can't strictly remember. I do know the place, what happened. But the year was very muddling. I think it was 2014 slash 15 because I knew it was on, I had, I felt basic on my birthday. It might have been 2013 and I'll, I'll go into the story. It might be able to help. So I had one of the biggest panic attacks I had, but, um, like since 2012. Um, the panic attacks were much worse than what I had before. Like the panic attacks would be, I needed to run out of the room, you know, um, and kind of more like the normal panic attacks that you get but this one was so bad that I was so I was literally seeing th not seeing things but like seeing flashing lights in front of my eyes nearly to the floor fainting because I couldn't you know the bo my body's like going no 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 okay this is enough for you you can't you can't run from it you need to just stop altogether so literally um I was in uh, a care home I w I wasn't in a care home, but I was visiting my great aunt who was in a care home, and um, and I was in the room perfectly fine, um, nothing to worry about. And then the room began to swim, like the walls were like turning into liquid, and I was like going, okay, this is weird. Am I dreaming this? Am I not really here? And then after a while, I was like going, okay, I am here. I'm standing here. I am here. I do remember being here. I'm coming here. I'm with my mum and my mum, my grand and my brother. So anyway, after a while, I began to feel very panicking. I was like going, oh, this is new. I haven't had this for ages. So my body was going, my body couldn't remember. So if that makes any sense. And I was like going, okay, um, I can't remember panicking. I can't remember a panic attack. Is this a panic attack? Anyway, so after a while, my mum was like going, oh, it's fine. She's fine. Like, like I was worrying about my great aunt but I wasn't I was just literally not sure what was going on I was like I need to get out of here so anyway I said to my mum I need to get out and she said oh fine I'll take you out are you having a panic attack I was like going yeah I think I am um so she's like okay then I I said I don't really know what's going on because I've not had one in a long time so she sorry she um she took me out of the um, room and headed onto the landing because the lift was only in use for people that were kind of the um, people that were staying there. So the residents were only allowed to use that lift. So not visitors. Visitors had to use the lift unless you had a disability. You were allowed to use the li the lift. Um, so anyway, I was walking across, the, and I think the lift stopped working at this point. So that's also why I couldn't use it. So I was walking across, and I suddenly felt so heavy as if I couldn't. You know, like someone was asking me to hold a ton of bricks and I was holding these, the feeling of holding a ton of bricks. And anyway, I was kind of more and more dizzy. Like my body was like, I was like, kind of like, I felt like I was swimming and there was such, like there was a hissing sound in my ears. So I was like going, what's going on? Very disorientated. And then I was fell to the floor and I was kind of like going really, really, really dizzy and panicking as well. I was like going, oh, I need to get out of here. But... I couldn't physically know where to go, so I was like, where am I meant to go? Am I meant to go this way, this way, what? Because I I was so dizzy, I felt so faint, and then my everything went black as well, so I couldn't see anything. I felt, oh, I'm going to faint, okay, I'm going to faint. But I could hear my mum, who was saying, get up, get up, let's go, you need to get out. 
of here, you need to calm down. But her voice was like echoing, I was like, okay, I'm not fainted, I'm just, I can't see anything. So anyway, I managed to shuffle across the ground, or crawl across the ground, and then my vision started coming back, so I had like um, yellow stars in front of my eyes, and I was like going, oh, okay, I can't see still, but I can see sort of, but there's flashing lights in front of my eyes. Managed to make it down the stairs, and as soon as I got out, of the building into the cold air it was winter this time it stopped about six or seven minutes afterwards it stopped i sat in my mum's car and waited for everyone to come out and then that was it i it, it stopped eventually it stopped the panic attack stopped and i knew it was a panic attack because as soon as i was in cold air it stopped and the room was very hot as well and um and then the next day, it was my birthday. No, it was the next day, not your birthday. It was the first. And I was very, I was still very anxious, um, but I was feeling better, but kind of almost sick. So I wasn't feeling my best still. I wasn't like, okay, you're feeling, you're feeling better, but you're not, you, you had a panic attack, you feel a bit weird. I felt really sick and anxious still, and I thought, I'm going to have another one. Luckily, I was actually in Brighton and I was doing something. So it distracted my brain. I was like, you're here, you're at somewhere you like and then I um after that my I drank loads of chamomile usually chamomile tea really helps because it is a calming kind of tea and then on the 2nd of January I had a headache because I couldn't sleep because usually I had nights are kind of really bad for me I can't sleep so I don't um um and yeah so I just had a migraine the entire day so and yeah so that's kind of one story and then fears and triggers um i hate boats boats for me i really hate them because they they're linked for me they're linked to being sick so i see sickness i will not go on anything that will cause me to be sick or eat anything that will cause me to be sick or do anything that will be cause me to be sick so no i will not do that um so yeah so anything that's linked to being sick i will not do will not go on whatever i also hate needles due to like injections you know when you go to the doctor or you know like when you put under anesthetic or you need a blood test no way um i will not have that i will have numbing cream like a five-year-old because i don't i don't like the pain and i don't like the feeling so numbing cream fine you can do it but without numbing cream no i will not do it at all um, the fear of being sick, um, again, is another trigger. Again, I have talked about this. Um, and also being really hot as well and overthinking things. And also, um, MRI machines, although I have overcome this fear and actually don't mind being in them now as long as it's an open MRI. So overthinking, um, I'll just go over this one more time. It can make me quite anxious. It's when I overthink things and I know I'm doing it, whether I'm thinking about something or what or something I said or lose or doing or something I did or losing friends whatever um I have to get someone to tell me that I am overthinking because that helps me realize I haven't done anything wrong and it's just life so that's kind of my overthinking and I know I didn't really look at you guys when I said that it's just because my notes are down here and also I'm just going over it my way of coping I like chamomile tea because it's calming um a soft toy horse called chamomile not chamomile, caramel, sorry, called caramel, it's just like a kind of those plush toys that you get kind of from toy shops and that, I've had that for ages now, it's like really old, it's like I got that when I was like 9 or 10 and I really like it because it kind of makes, it makes me feel calm and um, during the panic attacks and also listening to music and talking to people in circles until I am bored of the subject. Worst time of the days? So this time, of the, most of the time of the day is like really late at night and usually I have these kind of in, spikes of anxiety which I call spikes and when I have one of them they can last, they're not panic attacks, they only, they will last up to two hours me feeling anxious and I will either have to turn my light on and have my light on and sleep with my light on or just kind of try or get an ice pack and cool down but other than that they're not panic attacks, I don't feel like I need to go anywhere. Um, and I don't feel like I can, I don't want to go anywhere, kind of, if you, if that makes any sense. Um, is there any more? 
No. Okay. Um, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you, uh, I hope this helped you guys, or I hope, um, I hope you could, you can relate to this video. I will have some more happier videos, but I thought I would share this with you guys, and I'm sorry it's a really long video, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!